Well, what's going on guys? Icebreaker back. Martin has been kind enough to record us some 4ER footage today. And as you can see, he is now back into gold ranks. Um, last night he jumped to 4ER. And that's literally all he's gone with. As you can see, he's not even opened up boom mines yet. So literally all he has done is unlock the engine, made a layout and done some hits. Um, so you can see for his layout, we've gone with the mortars along the top of the landing here. Um, that's to get the splash damage on those gramps when they land. If you don't flare one of these mortars when you land, um, the gramps will come up to the top of the ramp and be in range of them all. But if you fl flare one first and then land your troops, they will stand out of range of the mortars and take them out before before being hit. Um, this long line of defences here in the middle is to pull the troops away from this bottom right ER, just to slow them down a little bit. We've got some more defenses over here, same sort of deal again. It's all about slowing down your opponent's attacks and making their troops waste time or force them to use a flare, which again, wastes more time. Let's jump into a couple of attacks and see what he's up to. Right, so as you can see, he's dropping that flare onto that mortar there. And like I said before about the gramps and that will stay out of range. They will stay right down low on the ramp and shoot up to the defenses. Otherwise they will walk all the way up to the top, like I said before. Um, so whilst they're doing that, he's biting out the ER that's over to the far left. And then it's literally just a case of letting the troops find their own path and just using the GBE to manage things. A few shocks here and there, a couple of med kits to keep the troops healthy. He's gone for a flare over to the center here. And this is because he wants the troops to spread out now and head towards both ERs at the same time. Instead of coming up here, one defense at a time, one defense at a time, he can make the troops target all of the defenses uh, separately which just speeds up his attack okay so this one is a clustered layout on the beach here he's gone with three boats of mechs we've got sparky and we've got Crea swarm and you can see the guys he's uh, letting these mechs just room up to the top of the ramp and then he's dropping down uh the bombardiers which is obviously the damage the mechs are just there for the meat shield and he's just going to let them clear through all that stuff whilst these guys I'm just going to find their own path. As soon as he knows where they're going, he knows where he is to use his GBE. We've got a late drop of bombardiers over on the left to come for that bottom ER. Button out the middle one and then flip Hail Mary in the top. Again, it's another one of those ones that's got the layout all the way around to the edge. The idea of this layout is, is you want your opponent's troops to, to all be focusing one defense at a time, sort of overkilling it. If you've got all the troops working on this one defense, they're going to have to work on this one and then this one and then this one and then this one it's just a lot lot slower where if they're taking out multiple defenses at a time it's faster that way so that's the um sort of the, the strategy behind this layout which is why you use a center flare to try and uh, make them target to more things at once so let's see we got we've got the uh, bombardiers and the mechs again obviously biting out that one to the far left this one's got a few more mines in the middle that he needs to be wary of Obviously the boom mines and stuff as well. So we're using med kits to help keep them a bit more healthy. And then it's just a case of letting them find their path and slowly work their way around to that last DR. Yeah. This one's a bit of a different one. This one's got uh, the defenses that are coming up the middle, sort of more similar to Martin's one. So again, we've gone with that flare to the defense. He's barred out this lower rocket launcher and we've got a one and one drop over the left-hand side. So one mech and two boats of bombardiers there, sorry. And then it's literally one mech and the rest of the bombardiers over here. Then delay dropping another mech for more meat shield. Sparky and critters to hopefully clear some of those mines. And then it's just a case of letting them find their own path. These guys now are going to come around and focus on this stuff over this side, which is well, which is good. So shocking that stuff. Hail Mary Flare. Bit of GBE to finish off. So his tech tree is basically the same as what it was in the last video because like I said, all he's done is opened the ER. Um, obviously he's put up his troop health is up because obviously bombardiers and mines don't agree. Troop damage is almost maxed on both both uh, nodes. But uh, the rest of it is basically the same as what it was before. So there's not much there to go on. So yeah, that's uh, mines at 4ER right now. This is the strat that he's using for the time being. I think he's more sort of fishing for strategies right now and base layouts. Obviously he's not um, gone right deep into the tree yet. So he's still got a little bit to polish up on, but you get the general idea that it's mechs and bombardiers. There are people out there using warriors, which again are gonna be quicker. 
but the mechs and bombardiers is going to be a more reliable strategy sure warriors are going to win more if you can pull them off and if the layout allows it it's very easy to lose all of your troops with warriors or to fizzle and leave an er standing whereas with the mechs and bombardiers you're much more likely to always finish you know all of the er's it's very unlikely you're going to fizzle so when you do come up against a warrior player if you've got a layout that's good for countering against those you will win against those warrior players um because they'll fizzle and you won't. If you're not at 4 ER yet, check out the video on screen right now. That'll show you some 3 ER and some 2 ER gameplay. But in the meantime, guys, smash that like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.